Hello friends and welcome to Android Implementations. In this video, we'll see how to implement app shortcuts in your application. So this is a new feature which has been launched in Android N and uh, uh, it, has, it has a very very good use case in your application. iOS does the same feature of having shortcuts. Um, with, this, with this feature, you can just deep linking, an easy deep link into any feature of your application so it's not like you have to go in and always pick an option from your navigation drawer or from your menu so this can just land you directly to the specific to the most recent application uh, recent module of your application so I've already created this demo uh, just you need to just long press it and you'll get the you'll get all the features all the shortcuts app shortcuts that you have in your application you can also just spin it directly as a separate app uh, separate icon on your on your screen so it's not like you need to always go inside the app and then select the feature you can just click it and the feature will be deep linked so yeah this is this is this is most of it you can you can uh, you can okay so these uh, there are different types of shortcuts there are uh, static shortcuts which which is here there are dynamic shortcuts which you can uh, at one time you can generate you can change the states of these shortcuts it can be enabled it can be disabled you can check change the names and titles and icons so yeah we'll see we'll see the implementation in details so you can just you can just check have a, have a small observation that this is open the website there's a long name and then you where you bring it up here and there's a short name called website so just notice while well, the implementation I'll I'll get to know what the differences are so yeah, this is the demo and let's go ahead and implement it. So this is the documentation of app shortcuts. It's it's completely there, very well described. And uh, okay, so yeah, let's start. So we'll first start with the static uh, uh, shortcuts as in those are always there. And as the name suggests, it's a sta static shortcuts. So for this, you need to have Okay, so this is this is my standard demo project, which just has a main activity and a normal layout. It's 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 a, it's a standard demo with a single activity. So you all you need to do is you need to add an XML folder, and in this XML fol folder, create a resource file called uh, my shortcuts with the root element as shortcuts okay so this is just like your menu declaration so in this there will be multiple shortcut okay so just this, this is what you need to so whenever you are creating a shortcut you there are some mandatory fields that you need to have one is oh sorry I just clicked it or you need to so one is the icon the second one is the long name and the third one is the short name so these are the three feeds that you always need to have so let's just note it down the first one is sorry the short name the second one is the long name then there's this icon which you need to have so again and then there's always which you need to always need to mention that there should be an id so these are the four mandatory fields which you need to provide when you are creating a shortcut you can also have free, uh, messages like disabled name or disabled message you can say so whenever if this this is suppose there's a there's a feature called favorites which you have pinned here but later on when you log out from the app the favorites feature is not accessible for the user so you can just disable this option or remove the option so you need to have this this is not this is not mandatory but yeah, good to have so let's just add these features into it so it's like android shortcut id oh sorry i guess i just missed this Android shortcut ID so it's a it's a string ID that you can add that's called ID 1 and to have Android sorry, short 
cut short label sorry I, I cheated as as new it should be label and that can be short label when I need Android shortcut long label this is for long label and then I need Android icon it's called drawable okay so here's a story here's a different thing that you need to know in the documentation uh, of app shortcuts there's a very clean app shortcuts design guidelines that they have mentioned so I've, you can just go through this documentation it's very short and thorough so basically the main highlights are that your icon needs to be 44 dp as in the whole uh, square inside it if you have suppose a circular icon you need to have at least 2 dp of padding before the circular starts so you can just see these I the icons in the demo are the ones which you need to think so it, sh it should be at least 2 dp now but if suppose you have directly the contents that you need to use so the content should be around 24 dp so that's what I've used in my application yeah come on come on I, oh, I just clicked it sorry so it's, it's just 24 dp that you need to follow so this is Android Asset Studio uh, everybody should know this if not use it it's very very useful just go to generic icon generators and here you can just have it so just select whatever icon you want I'll select this heart padding should be 0 so your asset size is 44 as per the guidelines uh, yeah and the padding should be 10 on each side so that will oh sorry 10 on each side yeah so it will make as a 24 dp of it and just select the color yeah. and just go ahead and download it i already have it in my resources i've added those in my resources so you can have disabled and enabled kind of stuff so yeah so this is the this is the icon that you need to add okay so yeah so I've added a shortcut but you also need to know that there should be an intent associated to every shortcut and the intent as in what ex exactly do you want to do it can be an opening an activity or opening a browser to a URL uh, it can be anything so it's just like your Android manifests intents uh, manifest the action intent and then you need to have a category to it that is just to uh, shortcut the just uh, one of the syntax for shortcuts declaration so let's just add an intent to this shortcut and intent should have an action oh sorry and the other syntax is to have a target class and the target package name yeah, so this is what you need to have so action is always action view which can be then extended to anything any web pages that you want to have the target class is support right now I have just have my main activity so let's just get this package name dot main activity and this is my package name yeah so that's what I've declared my intent and then there's one category field that you need to add so it's android dot shortcuts Conversations. That's it. So yeah, these are the things that you need to note. Yeah, that you just need to keep in mind while while declaring a shortcut. So that's it. You have just created a shortcut. Now you need to add a shortcut to your launcher activity. So the second, so the first step is to create my shortcuts field and all uh, add the necessary static shortcuts into it. The second action is to just add the shortcut declaration metadata as in in your launcher activity so if suppose my main activity is your launcher activity 
so just go inside it and you need to add one metadata with the tag name as shortcuts so it's android dot app dot shortcuts and show the resources to your shortcuts oh, oh, I don't know okay it's for XML whatever your XML is yeah so that's your second step that you have to do and yeah that's it that you that you need to just add this metadata declaration add an XML file with the shortcuts XML to it and these are the mandatory fields that you need to have the intent and a category so let's just run this and uh, I guess this this app will go because I'm just overriding it so the compilation don't take long Uh, sorry old school days. so I'll just I'll just shift all my values to my strings my mistake I actually have all of those so this is my shortcut let's just have this short label and long label is I guess I did a mistake. Uh, yeah, that's it. No more bugs. I hope so. Okay, so some of our shortcuts have been disabled because I have to move it. So yeah, and this is the shortcut disabled one. So you can also always so okay, let's just let's just start with what we have right now. So this was my previous app and it just override to it. I'll just but that's a good case that you get you got to see now this option has been disabled, so it looks like this. So whenever you click on it, you'll get the exact uh, disabled message that I had declared. So that was the previous installation. Let's, let's just remove it and check the current code that we have installed. Hope this doesn't take long. Not okay. Great. So yeah, my app is launched, and whenever I click on my app I get my long label here so let's just bring this app on the home screen so yes so this is the long label I can pre long press it and create a shortcut directly so I get my short label here so that's the difference so you need to have a long label and a short label and your icon needs to be with those strict guidelines it's good to follow your app will look quite good so these are this is the how you need to deal with your uh, static shortcuts so let's just go ahead and create dynamic shortcuts. Um, it's 